Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Yasuo Swain to start our day. We were supposed to play this deck at the end of the stream last night. It was going to be our fifth deck, but our other four decks all uh, played some real long games and everything. And so it got pretty late. Um, so just moving it to kick off our 12 hour stream today. That's right. We're doing a 12 hour stream. We're going to be playing 10 decks. I got nine of them written up here right now. Um, We'll have, we'll have like one more afterwards. Um, so we'll have a lot of decks, a lot of YouTube videos for today. Should be a fun day. All right. Now, so we're going to be pairing, we're going to be trying out Yasuo being paired with the new champion Swain. Now, to be completely honest, I am kind of expecting this to be, uh, like, I'm not sure if these are going to pair too well together, I guess is what I'm saying. I kind of expect Yasuo to be a, like the best Yasuo deck to be without Swain. But we have this new sweet champion. We got to give it a try. And the reason why we're trying it with Yasuo, besides that, besides the fact that just Noxus in general works really well with no Yasuo, is this level up. Um, Swain says that uh, whenever Swain levels up, then whenever we deal non-combat damage to the enemy Nexus, you get to stun the strongest back row enemy. And of course, if you have Yasuo out when, whenever you're stunning stuff, then you can start doing a lot of damage to it as well. So the kind of the, the problem here, though, is we not only need to have, you know, we have to build around Yasuo by focusing on a lot of stun and recall, but then we also have to kind of build around Swain's level up and try to be able to do 12 non-combat damage this game. So th that's why we're going to have cards like Death Lotus, that if there's a lot of units that are out and battling you know, for two mana, this could do four, five, six, seven, you know, could do a lot of damage towards the 12. Um, Ravenous Flock seems like a pretty good, you know, like, pairing with our different stun cards. Um, and then also just kind of early game, we got uh, the Crimson Disciple and Imperial Demolitionist combo that can get some non-combat damage in there. Noxion Fervor is going to be a big thing. That's six non-combat damage and can be a good removal spell. Basically using this kind of like Glimpse Beyond, like if they, if one of our units are going to die, then we can kill it off with the Noxion Fervor and do three damage to something. Um, and uh, and yes, yeah, so, so like those, are, that's basically what we have towards trying to level up Swain. And then of course, of course, besides that, whenever um, you have Yasuo's ability and you're doing two damage to stuff, that's non-combat damage that that helps to level up Swain. Um, and then finally, I have the City Breaker in here, which seems a little weird. But the reason why we got a City Breaker is because Yasuo decks can kind of be just controlish deck so we can maybe sit back and you know get some damage in with the city breaker that could that could uh be important but also it's city breaker is so good with a leveled up swain whenever you have swain leveled up and then again when we deal non-combat damage to the enemy nexus so we have to have ways to actually deal damage to the enemy nexus which we don't have you know we have some of those cards i was talking about but that could be city breaker so that can you know basically be starting of round um deal damage to them and then stun some then you stun something with swain so we're kind of turning city breaker plus swain kind of turns into a minotaur reckoner at that point but stuns the biggest enemy all right so anyway so that's that's what we have so that's that's how i've put this together to try to take advantage of both swain and yasuo um let's see how it goes we're gonna go play uh, five games in ranked that's what we're gonna be doing with each deck Let's go have some fun. Oh, you know what? I should have... Yeah, because Mobile Addicts is down right now. I should have just copied, copied the deck code, and then I could, you know, paste it in the chat for if, you're, if you wanted to see the deck. I'll do that after this game. We'll copy the deck code. Um, I mean, Swain and Reckoner are going to be strong, but I don't know if we keep them in the opener. I kind of want to, though. No, we'll, we'll mulligan them. Yeah, actually, I like that better. All these things being two mana with three toughness... Um, you know, that third point of toughness allows us to Demolitionist. 
fairly well. So they're Misfortune Quinn. Yeah. We can fervor the City Breaker. Radiant Strike? It's gotta be a Radiant Strike, right? Huh. Do I trade Blade Whirler for Radiant Strike? It could be the give everything one tough. Or it's just a bad attack. I think this Badger Bear is an overrated card, by the way. Nothing gets between me and my mark. Yeah, it's it is big, has good stats, but And I can I can make like these kind of blocks and and just get down the toughness because we're gonna have Yone. Which, by the way, I honestly, <laughs> I mean I'm I'm wrong obviously, but I thought for some reason that I was going to have uh, Yone this turn. <laughs> I was going to be playing Yone right now. Alright, we've leveled up Swain. So that's cool. Ooh. At last, I have found you, Yone. Turn back while you can. Yone, 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 yone. Boom. Hey, yeah, we're we're kind of act. Yeah, we're. Who knows? We're we're mid range. You know, we're part aggro, part control. We can do it all. We can do it all. Hmm. 
Alright, we're gonna have to map this out. All right, so you know, round start, we'll do one damage to their enemy nexus. Which will stun their largest back row enemy. Unfortunately, they're going to go just straight to combat, so I'm not going to get Yone value. But, with that being said... We are going to be able to <clears throat> kind of get Yone value because of because of Scout. Like they were going to be able to attack again, and we're going to be like, nope, no more attacks. Hmm. Try to keep up. Hmm. Do we? We actually attack with the six sixes. Like we attack with these things. Patience is a tactician's greatest tool. Maybe not. Grizzled scouts are good. That's kind of the problem attacking is these grizzled rangers. Things are good. Dude, the city breaker is sweet. They are gonna they're about to kill the city breaker, but still it's sweet. This can be real nice. Um, you know, my turn. Stun these things. Let's go with. Uh, block and a block. I've got your back. Ooh. I'm really glad I stunned the Valor and they didn't they weren't able to barrier the Valor, because obviously I'm just not gonna block that thing. Alright, uh block there, block there. Clears up one spot. Clear up two, that's gonna get blocked anyway. Alright, that works. Looks like these Demacia cards are pretty stunned at this development. <laughs> the old 21 3. Oh, what's up, Yasuo Swain? That was an impressive game. Demacia, you know, is. Definitely one of the top decks.
right now. That was a really impressive game. That City Breaker. Just had that one of City Breaker. That was nice. <laughs> Mobile Addicts is back. Yay, Mobile Addicts is back. Okay. Did I want a bunch of blade twirlers? Probably need like interaction and stuff. Need like these stun and recall cards. Everglade. That's the name of the card. We're going to play some Neverglade Prankster. Alright, that's the 10th deck. Neverglade Prankster. We'll just put it right in there. Need to level up this Yasuo. So I both want, like, I want to play Swain, but then I also want to bounce the Maokai because this ability, the, the toss sapling, I do want to bounce that thing. Kind of, maybe I just bounce. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we'll bounce. Like, I play Swain, they place, you know, something else. They get the free blocker and also get to toss to towards working on the Maokai. This is supposed to attack the other way. I was supposed to do the two damage first, right? Oh, well. What's up, City Breaker? Mm. By my hand, Noxus rise. 
lead us to victory, Grand General. Interesting. Do not attack with the Abyssal Eye. Interesting. So I could cast the Death Lotus, and that's two non-combat damage. Um, could also just let this happen. No, we should probably cast this. I kind of want to just let it happen, honestly. Yeah, 12 hour stream. Or at least, however long it takes us to go through 10 decks. You, you, you know, kind of marketing it as a 12 hour stream, which is probably going to be pretty close to that. It's going to be right around there, but we're, we're playing... Um, we're playing 10 decks. So they can't block Swain. If they don't block Swain, they take another 3 damage to the Nexus. No. I can't even stun my own thing. No. All right, get wrecked, Maokai. Get Minotaur wrecked. Intimidating Roar could be good. Let's play this thing. It will level up Yasuo, which is the good news. Bad news is now they're deep. Actually, that thing's really big now. That's that's bad news. But still, this will be uh, four, five. So now, if I concussive palm the abyssal eye, will do five damage to it because Yasuo will be a five-five. Just let him hit me and play the City Breaker or like the Demolitionist. Just go for lethal this next turn. I mean, yeah, this is still putting a 3 2 into play. No, nah, this is good. We're still putting a 3 2 into play. Because the Minotaur Reckoner is going to stun this also at the beginning, beginning of the turn. They could play something smaller though. They have 3 mana. Yeah, that's good. Okay, this deck's pretty sweet. <laughs> I have to say, I, I'm, I'm very impressed with this deck so far after two games. I'm very impressed after two games so far. Now, what is this stuff? No. No. I don't like that. War Mason, reporting for duty. Make the Empire proud. Opponent surrendered. I like it. All right, let's make sure the the deckless command is correct. Whoops. Let's 
see if this works. Um, Violise. Death load is probably pretty good. Yeah, Yasuo always has been a fun card. Oh no, Mobile Addict's not working again. At least it worked for a little bit. We're getting a lot of these bunnies. Think it fast? Cute. I pull the strings. You won't suffer long. Hmm. No blocks. Let's get another bunny out there. And then we'll have the sentry and pump these up. Pump that one up. <laughs> so I don't really mind if they get extra spiders for whenever I death lotus later. Harvey's going to tear up my carpet. All right, double disciple or sentry. I kind of want to do double disciple, honestly. Pick on someone your own speed. All right, this is a risk. Like, this is even a risk worth. <laughs> I was going to say, it's not even a risk worth taking. I'm doing one damage. It's not like I'm. <laughs> I'll try it's not like I'm doing anything. It's one damage. I guess it would be nice to keep up the Noxian Fervor, because so I guess this is probably the, the new Karina control with Vi, especially how they had that uh, that other card. So I kind of want to like so eh, that's fine, whatever. We got three things. The problem with passing is that you know they use a removal spell here, but if I if I keep up Fervor, they removal spell one of my things. I respond with Fervor and kill kill Elise. Yay! They didn't. Didn't kill nothing. Hooray. Alright, Swain. Almost leveled up. Uh-oh. Cards busted. Toughness? That card's good. Um, so kill Elise or do two damage to Vi? I guess we kill Elise. So young. This thing has Challenger 2 and it grows. Man, this card's really good.
competition's greatest tool. Looks like a pretty viable champion, if you ask me. If they just let this resolve, that would be the best case scenario for us. Just don't play anything, just, just let it resolve. Then my Swain levels up. Their Vi dies. They're killing my Swain. Thing's still not dead. Yeah, toughness is real good. Think you're fast? Cute. Get up, phone. I know what lurks in the shadows. I like it better when we have Yasuo. Vi stands for victory. Nice. Delicious. Come on. No, don't block the eleven three. Just just take eleven. Don't worry about it. I think they should have taken 11. Come on, only two, only two, only two. No! I don't know. I don't know what I can draw really from here. Karina Control is a good deck. And they got me. All right, Reckoner's not bad. They still have six cards. This is about as good of a draw as we could have, though. Okay, GG's. We need to draw, well, like, Concussive Palm. Alright. Alright, two and one. That means the minutes I reckon are just stunned to the little one one. Yeah, that Vi was insanely good. I like it better when we had Yasuo, like the first two games. Let's draw Yasuo again, that card's sweet. Okay. No Yasuos. But we got some stuff. Got some stuff. We got our Noxus part of our deck. Cards work pretty well together. Hey, how'd it going good? Absolutely, Patrick. You can absolutely ask questions about the game and, and you know people in chat may 
definitely there to help you out as well. I love it. Just attack for two. Don't attack for three. No, darn. But yeah, new to the game? Well, welcome. It's a good one. So I'm not playing the Demolitionist yet, because I don't want to turn this into a 2-2 as far as Fleet Feather Tracker goes. Break their spirit and their soul. It's not immediately. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, I'm up. Yeah, yeah, I'm up. Compare that with Ravenous Flock to kill the protege. Nice bows. Nice bows. No, you can't guarantee to draw a certain creature, no. Basically the only way the only thing that's kind of like that is um Come here, do I want to throw a Crimson Disciple over here do one to this Let's see what you sure do two damage to them there's a card called Entreat that you draw a champion for two mana and if you if you only have one champion in your deck then you know you will draw said champion i guess that's about as close as as you get just pretty close Oh, yeah, it's true. And the new championships. That's true. Not championships. One word. Championships. We'll do that. They will They will draw a specific champion. My strength is yours! Bleh. all right so it's a good kind of learning game like you know we had like our, our crimson cards this isn't you know like these crimson cards aren't powerful enough to for to beat demacia this like against demacia decks uh look for yasuo and stun stuff you know yasuo and stun stuff can beat this like we did like the other time but good learning game here this is not good enough um, bouncing wise, you know, like we're looking at bouncing either Elm Heart or Misfortune, which honestly we have to bounce Misfortune, but but still, like, look, we're we can't come out of this. Yeah, Mobile Addicts is having problems right now. It's it's kind of down. Oh yes, uh, um, Demacia with um, Shadow Isles. Sorry. Thank you, Yud. Yeah, sorry. The Undying is Shadow Isles. My bad. My bad, my bad. Um, the, the other one is just a Demacia. Oh, oh, Unyielding Fiora. Oh, never mind. Unyielding Fiora is just only Demacia. 
Sorry, I thought you were talking about the champion unless I'm dying. My, I can't read. <laughs> well, I mean, I can. I just misread. All right, let's get rid of the Death Lotus. So here we have Yasuo. We need stun stuff. Fervor can kill stuff, though. We'll keep Fervor. <laughs> Correct, yep. Yeah, I forgot to send the regions. And then, and then we'll have one more later on also. Um, actually, Neverglade Prankster. Think and that's going to be Shadow Isles Noxus. New um, for the images, do Neverglade Collector and Phantom Prankster. In a pass. It's just really nice to have sentry after Yasuo for the damage. There's plenty of killing left. Feed Demacia. I go where the road takes me. Thank you, Yud. Yes, yes, your champion needs to be on the on the board to level up, yep. Some things never dull. I mean they could have a, a one mana trick there and, and then I'd have to use the Noxion Fervor. I'm glad they don't. Feel the sizzle. Feel the sizzle. Charge? A real battle. Eat up, friend. Oh, it's all. All right, you go block over there. You stun that and stun this. We go to eight. Now, let's stun this. And go to ten. Yasuo is too valuable. I don't want a repost to stop to kill Yasuo. I could just. I could. I guess I could block. Stun wouldn't stop that. This fervor wouldn't stop that either. Well, that makes everything a lot worse for me. Noxus. There's the other one. Shadow Isles Noxus. Correct, yes. Um, yeah, like, yep, if if you have a Braum out and it dies, then yes, your next Braum needs to, you know, starts back at zero. 
Um, you know, the new Braum has to survive 10 damage to level up also. And so, yeah, the, those kind of champions like that, you have to keep them in play. I'll do my best. So, like, Callista needs to see three allies die. Same with Lucian, kind of, you know, with the four. Um... This worked out pretty well. That worked out pretty well. Alright, let's get more Reckoners out here. Start stunning the two things. Oh, wow. Whiffed? If they're... Like, they gotta have Misfortune next, right? If that whiffed... It's probably Misfortune. Man, I would love to draw another Yasuo. <laughs> With Triple Reckoner. Um... Well, they didn't play a Misfortune. It's a Bilgewater card, whatever it is. So what Bilgewater card are they playing? Let's get a good look at you. Humility before power. If it's not Misfortune. Look what you it's something else. Or they just didn't play Misfortune pre-combat, which... Which you think they should. Alright, Swain's pretty cool. Honestly, I should probably just be playing another Reckoner. Yeah, I really should just be playing another Reckoner. Yep. That's what I should have done. Um... Now twelve. No prey, no pay. I kind of want to do that as a combat trick to flip the Swain in combat. Alright, so let's say they block Swain with the 3-3 and the Quinn blocks here. They take 18 and die. Okay, good. I wanted to make sure they couldn't just have the, the Quinn block there and stay alive. Well, that's... That's them still being dead. They, they, they couldn't have the queen, queen block like that. Alright, so that game we had a ton of stun stuff, especially those Minotaur Reckoners. 
that was a lot better against the Demacia deck. So we played three Demacia decks. We went two and one, and the middle one that we lost, you know, I kept all those those Crimson cards, and we kind of learned that they aren't powerful enough. And, um, I should have mulliganed those. Let's got a random epic. Sweet. Upgrade. Wow card. Alright, but honestly, this, this deck was impressive. Yeah, I mean, I, you know, kind of learning through some of those games. Could have made a better mulligan decision on one of those losses, but... Um, yeah, we got to do a lot of good stuff here because I was, I was thinking that we'd be doing like two different strategies, like trying to level up Swain and level up Yasuo that, that they were just kind of, kind of, um, take away from each other and we weren't going to do either game plan that well, but honestly they complemented each other really well. Um, it kind of gave our, you know, obviously the most powerful thing for us to be doing is Yasuo with a bunch of stun stuff. That's how it's always been with the Osuo decks. But it kind of gave us a secondary thing that was real powerful with um, doing a lot of damage. The City Breaker was awesome. At least that was that one game. Especially when, when paired with Level Up Swain. I was I was pleasantly surprised how easy it was to Level Up Swain. Honestly, I, I thought that we were going to really be struggling. But, you know, Noxion Fervor does half of it itself. Um, you know, and then like... the the Death Lotus and the Demolitionist and the Crimson Disciple really do a good job of leveling up Swain. Um, so yeah, I have to give the deck a thumbs up. Uh, very impressed. And, and right now, what's really popular is Demacia. Demacia is really popular right now. Um, as you saw, we saw, we played against Demacia three times. Um, and uh and what's probably good against demacia is stun and recall based removal because their their creatures are really they have really good size right like they like trying to do damage and damage based removal against demacia is tough because they're they're really large they have things like grizzled ranger that gets you two bodies um, but if you just keep stunning it and recalling it um that's actually some good removal. And and that's what we kind of saw here. Like Concussive Palm was just an all-star. Will of Ionia was very good. Reckoner and Yone were both incredible. And yeah, just kind of going for, for those kind of things. And then whenever you're stunned and recalling, having a Yasuo in play that's dealing damage to stuff, or if it levels up, you know, that's a ton of damage. This could be a good answer to Demacia decks, basically is what i'm saying it could be all right but there we go all right so that's our first deck of the day i know we got a lot of decks over here on the left we're gonna have a long stream today so sit back grab your popcorn we'll have some fun those y'all watching on youtube thank you so much for checking out some yasuo swain hit that like button leave those comments uh do all of that um, but anyway thanks again for watching and i'll see you for the next video